Welcome to the virtual tour of the Royal Canadian Military Institute's new exhibition, Royal Commemoratives in Canada, The Life, Reign, and Royal Family of Queen Elizabeth II, supported by the Government of Canada. My name is Ryan Goldsworthy, and as the Museum Director and Curator of the RCMI, and as Curator of this exhibition, it's my personal and professional privilege to virtually walk you through this new museum gallery. The idea for the Royal Commemoratives exhibition began in 2021 when we were determined to build a project to commemorate Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee or 70 consecutive years on the throne a truly historic achievement that has never happened in British royal history and is unlikely to happen again in any of our lifetimes. We earn both the Government of Canada's support to create this exhibition and of the RCMI's local Member of Parliament, Mr. Kevin Vuong. The theme and title of our project, Royal Commemoratives in Canada, we chose to highlight the coronations, jubilees and royal tours of Canada from Queen Victoria to the present with special emphasis on Queen Elizabeth's life and reign especially as it relates to Canada and our armed forces. A royal commemorative is an object or medium created to mark a special occasion or milestone in a monarch's reign. Our exhibition focuses on those commemoratives as they intersect with Canadian history over the past 186 years. Unveiled at our CMI in September 2022, the exhibition, which features over 25 artifacts and 27 photographs, is divided into two distinctive sides, pre-Queen Elizabeth II and the life and reign of the Queen herself. The pre-Elizabeth content in the exhibition includes a Queen Victoria military-themed Diamond Jubilee tin dated to 1897 and a chocolate tin issued from Victoria to British and Canadian troops of the Boer War dated to 1900. We have also featured a rare smiling portrait of Queen Victoria on the occasion of her Diamond Jubilee. Victoria, of course, was the only other British monarch to achieve a Diamond Jubilee, or 60 years on the throne. Parallels have often been drawn between Victoria and her great-great-granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II. Moving to Victoria's son, King Edward VII, we have presented a photograph of his visit to Canada as the Prince of Wales in 1860, and we have the original Officer's Commission Scroll of Canadian Francis Hilton Wilkes. From Edward's progeny, we have two unusual but pristine objects, 1911 commemorative smoking pipes in the shape of King George V and Queen Mary. I do not believe that these pipes have ever been smoked from. Two of George V's sons would ultimately come to the throne. For the controversial Edward VIII, who famously abdicated from both throne and responsibility in 1936, we have presented an image of his unveiling of the Vimy Memorial in France in July 1936. Further to Vimy, we have a full circle representation of two medals the 1936 Vimy Pilgrimage Medal, awarded to 6,000 returning Canadian First World War veterans, and a 2007 Pilgrimage Medal issued by the Vimy Foundation for the rededication and 90th anniversary of the battle. Another striking pre-Elizabeth object from the RCMI collection is an engraved 18-pounder artillery shell casing this shell was fired on the 17th of May, 1939, as a part of a royal salute. The salute was called for during the arrival of King George VI, made famous to modern audiences by the King's speech, and 
his wife, Queen Elizabeth, better known as the Queen Mother, to Quebec City as a part of their 1939 royal visit. We have also sourced a photograph from that very day of the royal salute, showing the arrival of George and Elizabeth. Connecting the two thematic sides, we have an impressive and complete collection of all coronation and jubilee medals from Queen Victoria's coronation in 1838 through to Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee Medal of 2012. Medals such as these were presented to eligible service personnel who were serving at the time of the medal's issue. This is an exquisite collection, very rarely seen, and displayed together in a Canadian context. Over to the Queen Elizabeth II side of the exhibition, we have presented a diverse and interesting view of the Queen's life and reign as it relates to Canada. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of Canada, and the Sovereign of Canada's constitutional monarchy for over 70 years also served as the Commander-in-Chief of the Canadian Armed Forces. We acknowledge the importance of commemorating the Queen's life and reign and the continued importance of the monarchy to Canada. For commemoratives of the Queen's coronation in 1953, we have three wonderful objects. A ceramic cigarette case with the Queen Elizabeth II royal cipher, a glass plate with the Queen's face, and a Canadian first day coverage postal letter with a stamp from the date of the Queen's coronation, June the 3rd, 1953. Also seen from this precise era is the Queen's final visit to Canada as Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth in October 1951. Further royal visits to Canada are represented through a series of curated photographs, including in 1959, 1964, 1967 for Canada's centennial, 1970, where the Queen met with Inuit leaders in Northwest Territories, 1973, 1984 in Toronto, 1992 for her Ruby Jubilee, and 2010 for her final visit to Canada. In a mirrored view, we have a photograph showing us Queen Elizabeth's parents, King George and Queen Elizabeth, visiting with Canadian First World War veterans during a visit to Ottawa in 1939, and Queen Elizabeth II visiting with Canadian Second World War veterans during her 1957 visit. Major milestones in the Queen's life and reign are subsequently represented in the exhibition through a series of rare and carefully curated commemoratives. These featured objects include a beautiful Wedgwood style plate for the Queen's Silver Jubilee in 1977, a lion's head beaker for the Queen's Gold Jubilee in 2002, and an unmistakable William Edwards plate for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. One of the hidden gems of the exhibition, a miniature of the Queen on horseback depicts the queen riding her favorite steed, Burmese. Burmese, a gift to the queen from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in 1969, is representative of her special connection to Canada and her well-established love for horses. And an even more modern piece, minted by Royal Dalton in 2016, we showcase the queen's son, Charles, grandson, William, and great-grandson George, or three future kings of England. Adjacent to the Royal Dalton figurine is a photograph of Charles and Princes William and Harry during their 1998 visit to British Columbia while wearing Canadian Olympic gear. For the once-in-a-history occasion of the Platinum Jubilee, we have displayed two very different artifacts, both created in 2022. These are a William Edwards mug with the Queen's face and an exclusive Platinum Jubilee Barbie doll 
depicting the Queen's likeness. The Barbie doll has been impactful in linking the history to younger audiences. So the Queen's final visit was to Canada in 2010, a visit which included an inspection of the Royal Canadian Navy in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Her Majesty met with members of the Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery at Windsor Castle in the UK in October of 2021. Queen Elizabeth II served with exceptional grace, kindness, leadership, and exemplary service. Perhaps no other monarch in British and Commonwealth history has simultaneously represented the crown and the institution so well, so faithfully, and so without personal scandal and controversy. We are hopeful that this exhibition, in small part, will help to convey the RCMI's feelings for the Queen. We must honour Her Majesty and the shining example which she stood for and exemplified throughout her reign. The immediate and incredible response to the Queen's passing in its September of 2022 stood as a powerful tribute to the continued meaning of her life to so many. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest reigning British monarch and the longest serving female head of state in recorded history. Above all, the Queen's life ultimately represents a fulsome and unwavering devotion to public service and duty. Thank you.